Hey everyone, I'm Itro Charles, and this will be Worms Armageddon's World Race Showcase. Uh, I have made a compilation of five maps that I will play in succession here. I started off with Classic by Edgy here. Uh, time is going to start when I hit start game, so three, two, one, go. Placing my worm at start here. And here we go. So, Rope Race is a scheme where, um, on a specifically designed map, preferably of tunnels, uh, we need to go from point A to point B, start and finish. Um, and, uh, well, when the scheme is usually played uh, against other people, to win, you need to get good scrub uh, at the rope. But uh, since I'm going to be alone, I'm just going to try to play. Play the maps as fast as I possibly can. But I'm not the best. Um, as I fall here. Uh, this first turn here. Uh, you may notice uh, the scheme here is a bit interesting. So usually. Uh, the rope race these days. Is played to 40 seconds. However over here. Since one time I'm getting a version 3.8. Um, one of the extended scheme settings. That is added courtesy of 3.8 is triggering retreat time after you run out of time, as I'm about to showcase here. Not now, because I have a uh, zero second retreat time on ground. Um, so, yeah, I have 30 seconds plus 10 seconds retreat time here for every turn here. Uh, usually, when time trial schemes are played, you would usually have infinite uh, turn time. But I feel like those 10 final seconds of retreat time will um, really showcase of how that scheme was played back in the day. And here we go. There's 10 seconds of retreat time. So the difference between turn time and retreat time is that you can you only have one uh, rope here. So if I fall to the ground, well, I've hit the ceiling here, uh, I wouldn't be able to really traverse because I don't have a rope. I cannot I cannot pick weapons during retreat time. Retreat time. And uh, yeah, uh, you may also notice we have infinite reshots from this uh, from um, from the warp here. That's because the rope is currently power five, which gives infinite reshots. Uh, in intermediate, you have the power at rope free, uh, the rope at power three, which is. One extra we swing after a uh, reshot after um, you hooked initially. Well, as I try to um, finish this map as efficiently as possible. Uh, and yeah. There's really not much else I can talk about uh, talk about here. But yeah, usually maps of rope race consist of um Usually rope race maps consist of uh just mazes like this. They don't have to be filled ideally because well there there's still need to be borders uh, around each map. And out and over here I'm going to land on the surrender uh, land on the finish here. And I'm going to surrender. This is going to force a draw. And because this scheme is set to best of first to one win. And because I will never win. It's a draw. So I get to pick another map here. Without having to go to local multiplayer again. Uh, and we have this big old map here. Which we are, which is called Nine Sectors. Made by Krill470. Uh, start is over here. There you go. And this map is pretty big. Uh, specifically because I, I specifically chose this map. To be like the big, to be like the... The biggest one here. Because it showcases how um, rope race maps can be drawn. It doesn't have to be just, just square mazes. It can be... Um, it can be pretty much anything. Well, basically, all you need to do, uh, all you need to know about making a, a color map, an Armageddon, is that you're limited to 112 colors, and the worm's hitbox is 
uh, 9 by 16 pixels. Also, and also the size of the, the length of the rope, but I forget what it is because uh, the length of the rope also changes with power. So I forget what it is exactly. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna have... Um, we can have rope mazes in uh, all shapes and sizes, as this map will going to uh, is going to present. As I'm going to travel through this first segment, you can see glimpses of the segments coming up. Another thing you may notice is I have a muted sound bank for worms. This is usually for me to, um, because I'm a listener in some ways, um, um, for um, the indicator for me letting me know that I actually hooked is, um, is the sound of the rope hooking. Um, so because of this, I muted like every I think that's unnecessary, such as muting the sound bank. Um, also, the damage sounds, because that's again enough but a distraction. And also muted the rope firing sound. That's because again, I I rope with the indicator that I hooked with a sound. I also have a different sa uh, sound w that I made with an 8-bit sample generator. And we go coming up to a second sector here. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be just... Um, it doesn't have to be just... Um, doesn't have... To, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the rope races doesn't have to be just... Um, uh, just just grid mazes here. Uh, they can be just you just drawing a whatever shape maze you want with a brush, uh, and it still works. As I fall down here, as you can see, Armageddon's physics are beautiful. Um, you may also notice that I'm equipping a parachute here. We have infinite ropes and infinite parachutes, by the way. And there you go. Just showcase that why that's the case. Sometimes when I fall. And I have the parachute equipped. Instead of losing the turn, uh, I can still recover. Now, pa because parachutes are influenced by wind, uh, sometimes a parachute can get can uh, move me to places where I didn't really want to. Uh, wind can be seen in the bottom left, uh, bottom right corner of the screen, as you can see, it's slightly red wind now, uh, which is to the right. Uh, wind can be changed. Wind can be changed in the extended settings, but in this scheme, I just opted not to. Uh, but usually, in the competitive scheme, uh, it is disabled. Wind is disabled. Um... I just completely messed that up, but it's fine. Oops. Um. And yeah, usually I just don't really talk much when I um, manage to explain like whatever I had in mind. So if I just sit here silently, um, might be just a good time to read donations. Uh, as we enter this next section, so we don't have to specifically follow the grid here. We can have smaller mazes within a bigger maze here, as you can see here. So we just have like tiny, uh, tiny tunnels here, which make... Um, Roping in some cases here a little bit uncomfortable. Don't manage to clear this though, kinda. Um, I'm just gonna wait out the turn time here, uh, the, the retreat time here, because uh, there's no magic way to uh, stop retreat time here. Besides falling, maybe. Um. I guess I, I guess one of the questions that could come up with how do you steer the rope? Uh, I mean, you could you probably just 
Some of, the, some of the key nine among you may have seen that I have an input overlay, and, can, and you can just see that um, that's uh, that it's all the arrow keys plus space. So, so up and down, expands and retracts the rope. Um, left and right uh, flings me to left and right. Space is attaching, detaching the rope. Uh, you may have seen me uh, ending the turn on a rope that is called a paddy rope. Uh, it was part of. Um, It was part of some um, extra commands in Armageddon, but now it's just an expanded scheme, a setting. Um, and you may also notice that instead of tapping F8, I tap X. That is because there is a module called Remap Keys that allows me to rebind some keys. So, for example, I have F8 bound to F8 and X, which is why... And specifically X, because X is, like, close enough for me to, um... Close enough to do space. So that I don't have to really reach out too hard to my, um, to my keyboard. Also because my keyboard is 65%, so I don't really have, uh, F keys on this one. Maybe, perhaps in the future that will change. As I'm going to... I'm traversing this... Tight tunnel here. I'm just gonna let the timer end here. Oh, wait. I have full damage uh, disabled, so I survived this, apparently. Uh, another thing in Armageddon um, that is unique to second generation games is um, there's a setting called God Worms. Meaning that um, I have infinite health. And by that I have, and, and by that I mean I don't, ha I don't take any damage. The only way to die is plop. Um, in World Party's time attack, one of the time attacks ha also has makeshift infinite health, but that's just um, like sixty-five thousand something. It's an integer, and two to the power of something. I forget what it was exactly. Uh, I'm sure someone uh, can figure that out. Uh, if you have memorized 2 to the power uh, uh, calculations here. Uh, coming up to this next section here, sometimes it, uh, sometimes you don't have to just drill a path within. Um, within a block of, uh, within just a block of pixels, uh, you could just make some make some wacky stuff here. So you can just see just, just uh, capsules here, just. Um, Everything here, just making very interesting geometry to traverse through, because, um... With interesting geometry like this, you can just... Latch onto something... Something very stupid, unpredictably. Uh, which, uh, which, which is what really makes this map interesting. As, as you can see, as I demonstrated here. Yeah, which why okay yeah it was this way ah. so what's what so one I guess uh, I guess as I try to go through this tunnel here it's worth mentioning that um when flinging or just not flinging, just doing or doing infinite reshots. Rope alternates directions from where you start. So you may see that I have initially I just set myself 45 degrees here. That's for a different reason. But uh, rope alternates from the for, um, alternate sides here. So going left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, that's also important to know when you are. Uh, when you are roping uh, Coming up to this next section here. We just have I think what just happened here is just black uh, Rectangles were just drawn on top of this brick texture it Looks a bit infuriating because well you 
you don't cut bricks uh, against the mortar here. So I think that would make it an interesting map uh, as well, in some ways. Um, so why do you initially set up a, an angle? If you fall from the parachute, or if you recover your uh, turn from a parachute, um, your first shot from the parachute is the angle you initially set. So here I'm going to show you. Initially, you have a rope at 45 degrees, and I will shoot, shoot at 45 degrees. Um, So, and, and when uh, and if I had the um, rope at a default position, then uh, I would have a rope at a default position, etc. Uh, next section here, we have very wide tunnels here. Uh, depending on the size, they can be comfortable or not, uh, depending on your skill set. As you can see, I'm going for breathing for these like like cheesecake, but. Um, Yeah, go on, go on, uh, yeah, I'm just going for these really fast. Uh, you may notice I have hesitated here. That's because although there is max velocity in, um, when roping, I was afraid that I would not react on time. Because, uh, that tunnel going downwards also didn't have any indica any visual indicator of when the tunnel is going to end. Some mappers like to put visual indicators like that. Sometimes they don't. And you just need to be careful. Uh, just ran out, of, uh, ran out of retreat time here, so that's what happened here. Do you get to see the sea level here? Oh. Another thing you may notice, I'm playing on, um, or at least some of the Worms veterans might know. I'm playing on a somewhat lower resolution of 1280 by 720. There's a reason for this. Um, there's a reason for this. Um, if I play on 1080p and you and you get to capture the game, the worm you see on um, when you on the full screen when you have Armageddon full screen, um, this worm being there in isolation might be fine, but you need to consider uh, when capturing the game. Is that your scene will make the game smaller? Anyone watching this, especially on mobile, will, will see the game even smaller. So you, so your worm in the center might just be like a very tiny blob of like I don't know, like five pixels or something like that. Either way, it would be very tiny, which would make the game borderline unwatchable. Like the only thing you would see is the terrain and not action happening around the terrain. As you have next section here. Of just tunnels made out of dots. Uh, not the most comfortable terrain to traverse through. Um, as I try to recover from this jump. But yeah. Um, the the non-smooth trajectory. Uh, trajectory. Um, the non-smooth geometry of this tunnel here. Uh, doesn't really make this what, uh, the most comfortable experience. As I just bounced off here, as you can see, for this, for the edge of the uh, circle here, or whatever is the anatomy of a circle, I don't remember. Trying to gain speed here, but uh, yeah, it's not easy. I'm just trying to be careful here. Kind of, I'm actually now I'm thinking of doing sub splits for this map because um, this map is actually kind of wild. Yeah, because this map is basically just 9 and 1, basically. So by me saying initially, I have 5 maps, uh, joke's on me, actually. Because this is a pretty long-ass map. Speaking of which, if anyone has um, map suggestions you think I, I could showcase, um, instead of the five, 5 maps that I already have ready here, uh, let me know. Because I'm open to suggestions. And if there are any map makers out here uh, that wants to make 
uh, maps for an event like this uh also please let me know uh that way we can have like a blind uh rope race showcase here just so you can see that um what i'm doing isn't really a fluke because i memorized the map or something like that oh and just missed the rope by a hair there Okay, just file that one. Okay, as we have this next section here, I think it's final section if I remember correctly. Uh, we have um, the borders of the maze here uh, made out of stars, which makes a very jagged uh, trajectory. As there's a chance that, as you can see, my me hitting the ceiling just gives interesting trajectories. Uh, and um, uh, just bouncing off just makes this very awkward. Similarly to how randomly generated maps can have grass in them. It's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same level of awkwardness of traversing here. As you can see, just hooking on to this very neat, tiny, tiny uh, bit of terrain here. And sometimes I can get tunnels cleared flawlessly here. Sometimes I may just make royal mess ups like this. <laughs> I swear to God, this is not scripted. Try to fall down this tunnel here. Oh, got it. Ooh. Yeah, barely got that one. Uh, I'm gonna pass here because uh, I have five seconds remaining. Uh, no point in me continuing when I don't have enough time. Uh, because I can just make a new turn. And there you go. That's the finish line. So again, resigning here. And uh, that will get me the chance to pick another map. Uh, we have a next because next up we have an old Windows logo made by Shadow Man. Uh, where was start here? It was on green. There we go. So, besides interesting geometry, what you can do also is uh, make a make a grid like maze. And just warp it. And that can also make some very interesting trajectories. Um, uh, inter interesting geometries. Especially with how... Um, roping mechanics and just... Physics in general work here. Also, this would be a good time for chat to discuss what's the best operating system. Uh, we all know how this, how this, how this can end though. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Should be fine. Okay. And as you can see, just wide tunnel here, but since this is warped, then um, this can make a very awkward climb here. Uh, I'm going to skip here because I have five seconds remaining here. 
Okay. Uh, buffering also um, is a thing. Uh, uh, buffering inputs is also a thing in Armageddon. So before your turn starts, you can buffer inputs. Um, uh, depending on the scheme you play, uh, sometimes that's a requirement. Uh, in case of Paranoia, where you have zero seconds of turn time and zero seconds of hot seat time. It's a pretty cool scheme, but uh, you really need to know the game for 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 the, if you want to play that scheme. Yeah, sometimes the map doesn't have to be just um, one path only. As you can see, there were just two paths there. And that's still fine. Um, there can be dead ends as well. But uh, usually dead ends are frowned upon. Unless it's like just one tile long. In this case, that's just fine. Try to fall down this tunnel. Usually that would just be... Um... You have to fall down here, but uh, since this is warped, I uh, need to be a bit more careful here. And there you go, as you can see, I failed to um, recover from that because rope alternate sides. Oh, come on. Sometimes the rope may just be uh, too short, even if it's power 5. Oh, and just recover that of two parachutes here. As we enter the next section here. For that, I'm just going to slide my way here. Perfect. Oh, come on. There you go. Um... We have another, right? Yeah. We have another transition here. So we go in here. The tight tunnel here, over here to the red here. There you go. Could have sworn I... Was that really the green section going that quick? Or is that just me? I don't know. Anyway. Whoa, barely got that one. We are going through the next section here. So you may notice to preserve speed, I'm also hooking onto a wall wall for like a split second just to hook again. Uh, that way, that makes me um, that way I can keep keep speed on uh, the direction that I that I need here. Yeah, sometimes I'm selecting parachute when I'm hold when I'm on a parachute. Um. Sometimes that's handy, sometimes that's not. The reason why I just do it is muscle memory. That's really all there is to it. We have this section here, which we have... Uh, dots. Got it. Oh, and... Oh, come on. I'm just gonna bounce the bounce off this wall because it's just yeah, going down here. All right. Uh... All right, and come on. Red, red wind here trying to help me out here, but uh, I suck. <laughs> okay, as you can see, you can see what's happening here. 
hung in the left wall. Bounce it up from the ground or, or the or right wall. And that's how I can clear this. Gonna slide myself here. Uh, blue winch here. Hopefully I can get this. Sure. But yeah, roping and in, in, in like... In all basics. It, it all comes... Basically it all comes down to... Um, It all comes down to uh, game sense and um, hand-eye coordination. In my case, can also be hand-eye ear coordination. As we transition to this last section here, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Yeah, slides here can be a big old waste of time here. Okay, messed that up a little bit. Yeah, just trying to focus here to clear this map here. Uh, not much I have to talk about here. Just good old roping here. Whoops. Uh, in the initial rope angle here messed me up a little bit. Might just be the last corridor here. No, there's a another transition. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna stay put here for now. Oh, okay. It ends on yellow. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna need to re replay replay the two maps here, um, just so I can make sub split for this later. But yeah, this is where I'll probably try and try to name like every rope trick ever. Um, but uh, I don't know any any of the names of rope tricks. I think this is where having someone to commentate with me, trying to explain everything here, uh, might help. Although at the same time, that might just be information uh, overload. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, failing the turn here. Whoops. Come on. There you go. 
as you can see just me seeing that every time i fall every time i see a parachute for for a split second uh, because i also know by muscle memory how much time it takes to deploy a parachute uh, yeah so combining muscle memory and retreat and uh, reaction time i know how much the parachute how much it takes to take, to take the parachute as soon as i see it i just tap twice to shoot the rope as soon as i hook like the parachute again with x because re i rebound again this map having multiple paths here That should be the entirety of the map here. I'm, I think I'm on the final path here, but I don't remember. Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I thought I would pass, but uh, pass this turn. But hold on. There you go. Right, come on, just get in here. There you go, and just resign. All right, there you go. So that's 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 that map. Yeah, that's the two of the lo longest maps out of the way here. As the next map is called uh, Boots by Sid. I'm going to disable the uh, indestructible border here for reasons. Uh, as I'm going to place a start here. Yep. Uh, so disabling the indestructible border here because uh, that forces the camera to be locked. Um to only specific angles which is not what i want so here's boots by said um what came to me by surprise when i re-uploaded this map to the ultimate site of worms armageddon at tus-wa.com is um the first comment of that map was the link to a music video of these boots are made for walking which makes sense but uh didn't even occur to me that that was the initial inspiration of this map as you may have saw by the thumbnail here but the map here itself is we have some somewhat tight um somewhat tight um maze here uh, made within the uh, black portion of these boots which makes a really really interesting map to uh, rope around in I ah, messed that up a little bit. Uh, 10 seconds of shoot time because I ended the turn on the um, on the parachute. Okay. As you can see, this maze was made within the boots, so you may notice that sometimes uh, the walls are going to be the borders of the boots, of the boots' uh, shape. 
Because at heart, uh, just maps of Armageddon uh, are just PNGs, where black is um, transparent pixels, pure and uh, pure black, which is in hex zero 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 zero. You can see some interesting. Um, I was gonna say interesting curvature, but you could put that out of context. So yeah. Um, Yeah, uh, the the maps don't have to be limited to just 90 degree angles here. As I try to try to finish this. Okay. Go. Let's run to the right side, uh, but now. And I am living life on the edge there for a second because I didn't have parachute equipped. I'll pass. So I can. Uh... So you get next turn ever so slightly quicker. Yeah. And and we're on the finish line. So there you go that was that was that map and finally last but not least um what if i told you that there is a program to randomly generate um rope race maps um so here i have a randomly generated map um ma made of a program made by legion which is available on the ultimate side of Worms Armageddon. Again, to us-wa.com. And, um... And because I initially uh, tried to submit this for a Polish marathon, I was thinking, why don't I input a seed of a um, meme number that's specifically known from Poland? As you may have seen by the, um, the map title. So, if anyone wonders how the hell do I have over 1,500 hours on Worms Armageddon and counting, uh, most of it was me just practicing roping on randomly generated rope maps like this one. Um, usually what happens when I want to warm up uh, my roping skills is I initially make a, a, ma a pack of like 100 maps. And whenever I want to uh, warm up... Um, I just roll a number from 0 to 100 and uh, I play that, whatever the map was. Um, and rinse and repeat until I feel like I'm warmed up enough. 
So that's basically how I uh, warm up Ropping in Armageddon. And uh, yeah, you just make this as just... You just do this as like a relaxation thing and... Um, yeah, uh, just 1500 hours just... It just gets there by accident. Um, so yeah, with that said... Um, as this is the last map here, I would like to say my shout outs. Primarily the Worm speedrunning Discord server. Um, starring... Starring um, Ruffle Bricks, Ma Black, Toby Trigger, and Psychotropic, and more. If, so, if anyone's interested in speedrunning any game from the Worms series, please join that server. Um, if anyone's interested in um, the more competitive side of Armageddon, you can you can um, you can look at the ultimate side of Worms Armageddon at tus dash uh, tus wa.com. Uh, you can also check out the Worms knowledge base at worms 2d.info. And if anyone has any technical questions regarding Armageddon, you can send them. Uh, you can send them to the Worms discussion uh, to Worms Armageddon uh, discussions page. As I have notifications enabled there. As my keyboard uh, unplugged itself on me here. Whoops, I just hit the ceiling there oh yeah where do you find the server um uh on speedrun.com slash worms that is the worm series page for on src Keyboards unplugged on me again. What's happening today? On the last map as well. Uh, it's just a loose USB-C connection. Nothing really much to worry about. And yeah, um, yeah, I guess I can talk about more about the rope race generator. Um, it's very modular. Um, I mean, it can only make grid uh, mazes, but that's fine. But it can do a lot of things. It can do arrows, as you can see. You can make it needles, which are these um, these thick orange lines and not double lines, um, which are supposed to be indicators for when um, going a tunnel down, like this one. Um, you can customize the path size, how big the map is in terms of grid, um, how wide the path is where the start and end is so in this map i configured that the map starts at the center so i can just mash left click to place uh, my worm um you can change the color palette as you can see because black and uh, orange are my favorite color palette um yeah textures colors Shapes of arrows. It's it's pretty modular. Oops. I 
Here we go. Whoops. I just went backwards. We recovered. Yeah, so this map is 31 by 31. Uh, uh, uh blocks. Um, the reason why it's an odd number is just so. I can start at the right middle at exactly at exactly the middle of the um, middle block okay Interesting fling there. But yeah, if there's if there's nothing to read, if there if there's nothing to read, all the spawns have been read out, all the plugs, shields. Uh, like I guess the audience can ask questions because uh there 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 is going to be a lot of dead air in this run unless the commentators will uh do that instead we can see a glimpse of the finish line here And I think this is going to be up. Okay, so time's gonna be when I hit, sur I hit surrender. As I'm just going to bounce off the finish wall here and time. There you go. And that is my role play showcase for about an hour. Apparently, I PB'd uh, the three, uh, the the three out of five maps here. So that's cool. Uh, I mean the two the two other maps are actually on par, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's the World Place showcase. Uh, again, a shout out to the Web Speedrunning Discord server, uh, Matt Black, uh, Ruffled Bricks, Psychotropic, and Toby Trigger. If anyone's interested in uh, speedrunning any game from the Worms series, please join that server. You can find it on speedrun.com/worms. 
Uh, additionally, uh, if you want to look at more competitive side of Armageddon, uh, wi.com for the ultimate side of Worms Armageddon. Worms to that info for uh, the Worms wiki. And uh, yeah, that should be everything. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.